Hi there. Today I'm going to be doing a quick video tutorial on how to draw coastlines. So this is following on from the, uh, the little tutorial I wrote up last week. Um, so in the tutorial from earlier in the week, I had a coastline which looks something like this. Quite a smooth shape, not particularly realistic. Um, but I'm going to follow this this outline and create something much more realistic, something that looks like an actual kind of fragmented coastline that's been worn down with time. So the first thing to do is to just drop the opacity on this layer down to about 30%. Uh, and I'm going to put another layer up above it, and I'm going to draw the actual coastline on this layer. So uh, I'm using a 5 pixel round brush with a size set to pressure sensitivity. Uh, so I I'm going to just follow this along, and rather than taking these big smooth curves that I had before, I'm doing it much more jagged and kind of broken up. And every now and again, put in a little bit of a bay, uh, and create a promontory, and here's another beach here. And just kind of follow that around. And you can see the pressure sensitivity of the uh, the tablet, it's giving a little bit of variation in the, in the, uh, the weight of the line. Uh, okay, and this one's a nice long jagged promontory out of here uh, and then it comes and it's a bit more broken up down here okay so that gives us something which is more kind of fractalized something that's been worn down that kind of suggests coves and inlets and all that kind of stuff so now that we've done that we can get rid of the background gray line and add a new layer for doing some detail um, so first of all, I'm going to just put a river entrance in. Let's have it coming in from here. So that's a nice smooth river. In this case, we want long flow. I don't quite like that. So we do some nice long flowing lines. Because rivers don't tend to turn sharp corners. Um, and then I'm going to add some detail to the edge of the coast. So this is just to give the hint of structure. I'm not actually going to try like drawing in hills or cliffs or anything like that. I'm just adding some detail around the edge, which gives a suggestion of kind of a broken up coastal edge. And what happens is that your mind will end up doing the rest. It'll take under this hint of structure and interpret it as kind of little coastal features, cliffs and hills and all the other good things that you get around a realistic coastline. The trick with this, and the trick with a lot of things in map making here is just to take kind of a visual shortcut, have a, like a visual shorthand, which tells the viewer that what they're looking at is kind of a broken up feature or something, like some structure that they expect to be there. And then they'll do the rest of the work. You don't actually have to draw it and make it look particularly realistic. Uh, people are actually willing to be fooled quite easily. Okay, so there you go. That is the, uh, the result of today's little tutorial. Um, it's a nice little structured coastline, which looks like it could be the environment for all sorts of adventures. Uh, right, I'll take this on next week, but for now, that is all.